So we've got in here a pair of Adam A7X monitor speakers. Um, obviously there's only one on the bench at the moment, but uh, um, so these have been given to me um, to look at and they said that they just sounded funny. <laughs> so that's all I've got to go on basically. But I have to say, as soon as I've got these in, I don't know if it's possible to see this in here, but on both of these, they've appeared to me with the volume flat out. Now, to me, that sounds like a bit of a warning sign, really. So um, I'm going to power them up and um, see what we get. But obviously, I'm going to turn the volume back down before I test them. So here we have it, it's powered up um, and we have a nasty sort of fluttering hum coming from it. Um, I don't know if you can actually hear, there is a 1K tone coming through there as well, but um, it's pretty well um, obscured by the uh, um, sound of the speaker there. That, so I, I just change the frequency. You can hear that it's changing, but it's it's pretty horrendous. So uh, I think we're going to need a little deeper look in there. I'm going to check the other one just see if it's um, doing anything similar. Just having a quick nosy inside here, just a quick visual inspection. Um, I think we can safely say these large caps here are rather bulging. So I think they are definitely a big part of the problem here. So the next thing here is we're going to have to um, uh, start to dismantle this as best we can to get better access to this board so we can um, get these caps out. Of course, as I said, everything is glued in there with this horrible gunk. So um, it's going to be a little bit of a job really, but um, we'll see what we can do. Now I've got in here a little bit closer, unfortunately there seems to be a whole bunch more caps that are definitely not looking very happy. So uh, we're going to have a bit more to change in there. So after much faffing about and covering myself in heatsink compound, uh, we have access to the board. So basically going to work my way through these capacitors and um, probably going to end up changing all of them, I imagine, but we'll see how we go. So here we've picked everything up um, as I have replaced all the dodgy looking capacitors. Um, battled my way through all the glue and gunk. And uh, so I'm just going to clean everything up on the back of the board now. And um, obviously there's that pad there that needs replacing and... Uh, tidy everything up put it back together and and hopefully um, we get a decent result well we're all back together well I've put the board back in anyway and uh, just about to it's, it's actually on power um, and I'm going to be playing a 1k tone through this so hopefully you'll be able to hear hopefully that's clear that I'm not hearing any buzzing, anything unhappy, so I reckon we might be on to a winner. Quite a fiddle it was too, but uh, I'm going to have to duplicate this all again on the second speaker. But it um, appears like uh, bad caps were the problem. So um, after initial work on this, um, although the audio is quite clean that's coming out of this, the level it seems ridiculously low, so uh, I think something else is amiss here, really. Um, it's going to need some further digging. Of course, there's no um, schematics or anything for this, so um, we're kind of a bit of trial and error, really, to see if we can get to the bottom of it. So, we have 
more capacitors failing left right and center i think to be honest what's going to happen uh, with all the electrolytics is they're just going to all change because um we've got this classic case is something you can look out for that um yes some capacitors bulge and you can see they're faulty but sometimes sadly they don't and uh you don't really know until you take it out of circuit um so unfortunately that's what we have here and it makes it a little bit more time consuming so we're going to work our way through all of those and then try again well finally after previously thinking it was fine um after a very convoluted uh, bit of work we have replaced a huge amount of components um mainly capacitors i would say um just goes to show really that you you can't really trust that uh just because they look okay they are okay and um we found many to be bad once removed from the board so um but we've got a fair old chunk of volume coming out of this now um so i'm gonna leave it running make doubly sure and um, but i think we are finally there